These are frequently identified highly rated city departments. Next slide. Uh, city departments showing significant increases in excellent or good responses for services provided by the department. Again, comparing 2019 to 2016 survey, uh, the highest increase was a Shoreline Metro. Uh, the excellent or good rating is at 83% in the 2019 survey. Common Council saw a, a nice increase, a 12% increase over the past three years. Uh, your rating, excellent, good, per the respondents is at 53%. Property assessment is at 52%. Next slide. Also overall service provided by departments, the ratings as excellent are good since 2016. We saw 11% increase by finance, human resources, uh, and a slightly smaller increase for Mead Public Library. However, Mead Public Library if you add up the excellent or good responses, it's 91%. All other excellent or good responses for services provided by the departments, uh, public works saw an 8% increase, fire department 6%, and municipal court 6%. Uh, to note, fire department, again, for excellent or good ratings, is at 93%. Where do city residents receive their information? 62% uh, said the city's website. <coughs> this is the first year that the city's website is rated as the top source of city information. Previously, Sheboygan Press, both in the 16, 2017, 2018, was the top source. Sheboygan Sun has always been in the top five uh, as, as, a, as a source. Uh, city's Facebook, uh, this is the first year that they've been in the top five as an information source. Other uh, information sources that received a rating of 20% or higher uh, is the Mead Public Library website, Plymouth Review, The Beacon, Police Department Facebook, Sheboygan Insider, which is our newsletter, and visit Sheboygan.com. We asked the citizens uh, or who responded to the survey regarding funding rising costs of services. How, how would they accomplish that? Uh, we gave them four options. Uh, the highest choice selected was use a combination of increased property taxes, user fees, or charges. This came in at 48% or almost 50% of the respondents. We also asked in the 2019 survey, give us the three most important reasons why you call Sheboygan home. Proximity to friends and family was number one. Proximity to employment, number two. And rounding out in a third position was proximity to Lake Michigan. As I mentioned, we had several open-ended questions, one of which was, please give us suggestions for 2019 to 2020 projects or initiatives. Uh, what we did was a cloud. Uh, so the larger the font means the more frequently th these words or phrases were mentioned in, in the responses. Uh, no surprise, uh, you'll see in this cloud, street repair, fixed streets, road repair, fixed roads, uh, they were the number one category. The next open-ended question was, please provide comments about city government and related services or projects. Again, in this word cloud, uh, roads, streets, uh, comments about neighborhoods, comments about housing uh, were the, most, the three most frequent. We, re we received for the first time several great jobs in the comments. Uh, and interestingly, uh, there, was very, there were frequently the comment, none. So hopefully that means that people are really satisfied with the work that's been done and the initiatives that you've undertaken. Next slide. Again, both older persons and management team will use this information to provide support for the city's strategic plan, six focus areas. The survey responses are available on the city's website, and the 2020 survey will occur between February and March of 2020. In order to increase the number of emails that, again, we can use to communicate with our uh, fellow citizens, uh, we offered a $100 uh, Sheboygan County uh, Chamber gift certificate. Um, Tracy was the, was the lucky winner. 
uh, and she provided us a quote. Uh, I'll, I'll just read it quickly. Uh, she states, I just love this city. I wish more of our fellow residents would recognize its potential and embrace all that it has to offer. As a new resident of only one and a half years, my neighborhood and city as a whole has proven to exceed my expectations. We like Tracy a lot. <laughs> so congratulations to Tracy. And that concludes my presentation this evening. Thank you very much for that update from the city survey. City clerk, is there anyone here for public forum? There is no one this evening. Next, we'll go on to mayor's announcements. Well, we had an interesting uh, week with a uh, major snowstorm of 15 inches and extremely cold weather. Um, this was our first snow emergency. We were able to use the new ordinance that was passed recently and just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. The snow began at 9.30 on Sunday, the 27th. The snow emergency was declared starting at 8 o'clock on Monday, January 28th. We got the word out about four hours prior to that. The snow emergency was in effect until 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, the 29th. The snowfall ended about 7.30 on Wednesday, January 29th. Um, we had 34 employees who worked 646 hours uh, to clean up the snow from our streets department. Department of Public Works employees drew out 13 plows and salt trucks, four front end loaders, 4,369 miles during the operation. That's the equivalent of driving uh, from Sheboygan to Los Angeles, California and back. The Department of Public Works used 221 tons of salt. Uh, to uh, try to clear our roads and make them safe for people to drive on. The Sheboygan Police Department issued approximately 200 tickets for illegally parked cars and had 90 illegally parked vehicles towed uh, during the snow emergency. I want to take this opportunity to commend everybody on the plowing crew, um, also our streets and sanitation department for the extra work they had to do with adjusting the garbage pickup. Uh, the police and fire department, transit and parking, the water utility staff for working through this storm and the very cold weather. And also recognize all of our other city departments, City Hall and all these other departments stayed open during this inclement weather and they got to work to serve you during this difficult weather condition. Um, I'd just like to remind the alders that League Lobby Day is coming up on Wednesday the 20th. If you have any interest in uh, participating with us, uh, let me know and we'll uh, line up uh, a van to take those down to Madison for that event. And I just want to remind everybody it's 119 days until we'll be moving back into City Hall for our council meeting on June 3rd. <laughs> Okay, next we'll go on uh, with the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.3 through, through 2.12. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, items 3.1 through 3.5 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 is resolution number 173 of 1819 by all the persons Donahue and Sorensen authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchasing order for the purchase of two new vehicles for the Sheboygan Fire Department. And that'll be referred to the uh, licensing hearings and public safety committee. Under uh, reports of committees, 
Items 5.1 is uh, report of committee number 243 of 1819 by the Public Works Committee to whom was referred resolution number 169 of 1819 by Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2019 budget and recommends approving the substitute resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass for, uh, substitute resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Mics. Ron's mic, your mic. Any other discussion? See none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is item 245 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. Two was referred general orders number 37 of 1819 by all the persons Ryan Fleisch, Horn, and Wolf. Reestablishing the salary schedule for certain designated elected officials recommends approving the substitute ordinance. All the persons Ryan Fleisch. I move that we accept and adopt and pass the substitute ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? I move they accept and adopt and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Item 5.4 is RC number 246 of 1819. By the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom is referred General Ordinance Number 39 of 1819, by all the persons, Grant Fleisch, Warren, and Wall, amending Section 82 33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code, as to modify the Fire Department Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance. All the persons, Grant Fleisch. I move that we accept and adopt and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.6 is RC number 248 of 1819 by the Public Works Committee. To whom is referred General Ordinance number 40 of 1819 by all the person Wolf and Sorensen. Section 66 15 of the Municipal Code entitled Coal Tire Seal Coal Products, regulating the application and sale of coal tire sealing products and recommends approving the ordinance. All the personal law. 
Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? All the persons um, I was really uh, happy to see this, and I guess my question for the city attorney is do you foresee any challenges to particularly the sale of? No. Uh, the primary concern that we had was enforcement, given that um, probably the majority of these products are are not sold in the city of Sheboygan, but outside. But uh, voluntarily, uh, most of the larger um, retailers have voluntarily taken these items off the shelf. So um, we don't expect a, a challenge. Okay, thank you. Mr. Mayor, um, just kind of wanted to um, uh, kind of voice the, the support from the committee. Uh, from Public Works as well. I think that this is a, a definitely a good step in the right direction for our city, um, especially the impact that a lot of this would have um, on our lake, our parks, uh, young ones, older ones, animals of all sorts. Um, um, so I, I just want to voice my support. I think that this is a good good step for the city. Thank you. Thank you. 7.1 is an RO submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2019 and June 30, 2020. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Aye.